Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Oh, hey look, it's E.T. Foolish earthling. <laughs> What just happened here? Ultramaximus back with another 31 horror toys in 31 days! And today we have another retro review, rewinding it all the way back to 2002 with a Burger King kids meal toy and it's from the Treehouse of Horrors uh, from The Simpsons and it's Kang! Now, I believe this incarnation of King uh, was the episode It Came from Outer Space. If you don't know what I'm talking about, first of all, uh, there are two of these aliens on The Simpsons. One of them's name is King, and the other one I cannot remember to save my life. But they're two kind of croggy aliens that are always arguing and bickering and trying to take over the Earth, or they, they mock the Earth. Um, in various episodes, and they are predominant in the Treehouse of uh, Horror, the Treehouse of Terror, Treehouse of Terror, I think is what it's called, uh, on The Simpsons, which is their annual Halloween episode, and uh, this is the one where he comes to Earth, takes over, and he's got uh, the crown and the little scepter and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so this was actually uh, put out in a line of Burger King toys. In the early 2000s, I found this at my local uh, flea market, the Emporium 31. It was in the five for five bin, so I paid a dollar for it. There's absolutely no articulation to this. It's just a little rubber dude. And I wanna say it came with a little plastic sign that said it came from outer space, kind of like a 50s uh, movie poster or something. And it's kind of interesting thinking back and looking at the Simpsons toys. I don't really recall them doing the space aliens in action figure mode or form or whatever you want to call it mode. Um, and I, I, this might be the first time I've seen one of the Simpsons aliens in plastic form. If they have released an actual toy of the aliens, leave a comment. I'd like to know what series it was and go back and look at them. But yeah, this, this, this is pretty much it. This is, this is all you get out of the guy. It's just like a real uh, kind of hard uh, vinyl plastic um, with some paint on it. But it's, it's sculpted pretty well. It looks like the character and well, it's painted pretty well too. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, uh, the sculpt on this is very good. It looks just like the little alien from uh, the show. He's got his yellow eye with the red pupil in there. I like his little snarly mouth and the drool coming out that he's always got going on. He's got his little golden crown and scepter and his little tentacles kind of up in the ear and the pointed kind of Spock-like ears on him. Uh, the backside's really got not much going on there. Um, now these, characters in the show i want to say they have like domes over the main tops of their heads uh, but i can't really remember it's been a while since i've seen them uh, but this definitely uh brings me back to the episode that this is specifically from because i, I remember it being iconic with that little crown hanging off his pointed head now, looking at the bottom half of the figure, we've got all of these little uh, tentacles uh, all kind of flailing up in the air. Um, and again, I like the mouth. It's got a very Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles look going on. And then he's got uh, that base uh, plate around his body um, that I'm pretty sure that's where the dome came up around that uh, I don't believe this had initially. Um, all the little tentacles are just kind of pointed up in the air. It'd be nice if they had a little bit of articulation where you could have moved them around a bit. Uh, but again, this was just something that came with a Burger King uh, kids meal, so eh, it is what it is. For comparison, here we have Kang next to Spider-Ham, and it looks like these two could actually battle each other. They're about the same size, 
Um, Spider Ham has a bit more articulation because he's not just a solid piece of plastic, fortunately. Uh, but uh, yeah, for some reason, these look like they'd work together in an actual toy line, which is kind of funny because, you know, they had Spider Ham on the Simpsons movie. I, I don't know. What do you think? So is Kang from The Simpsons Treehouse of Terror uh, from the Burger King's uh, meal toy line. Is this something that you want in your toy collection? Well, if you're a Simpsons collector, this could be something that you're after. If you like all the restaurant type of toys, this might be something you, you look for. Or you're collecting everything from the Treehouse of Terror uh, stuff from The Simpsons. You know, why not? Um, I think it's a fun character. I've always liked the aliens. They were some of my more favorite uh, offshoot characters of the series in the 30 plus years it's been on now. Um, and uh, this particular episode was uh, pretty good. And I liked how the aliens, uh, you know, intermix on Futurama and crossover type stuff. I think that was pretty good. But uh, yeah, overall, this is not a bad little figure, but it could be an easy pass for a lot of hardcore collectors. Um, I, I, you know, I wish it was kind of complete. I don't even know what other figures were in the line uh, when this came out. I'm sure it was probably an entire uh, Treehouse of Terror um, theme going on for Halloween at the time. If you know, leave a comment down below. But yeah, there he is, Kang from The Simpsons Treehouse of Terror for 31 horror toys in 31 days. Hey guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.